Hello and welcome to the MacMost Daily Vlog. Our guest here, Devin, is here again, and Hi. Will. And Devin brought up a good, uh, good um, uh, site. Uh, was it open source open Mac source Mac org. Org. So, so the you know open source software. You hear the term, you kind of know what it means, but do you use it? I know what it means. I have one for punching the bag yesterday morning, right here. <laughs> See? Open source. That's an open source. It's not an open Is that source. What we're talking about? Yeah. No. So you know, a lot of people, a lot of people confuse. First of all, open source with free. They're not the same. No, they're Although not. Although the most same. open source software you can get for free. So they're not all kind of the same. But most. And um, open source is simply means that all the source code is available, and people can contribute to it and put back and, and share it. So it's collaborative development. And it usually means stuff's free because it's very hard to charge for it when it's all freely available. Is, is WordPress open source? WordPress is an example of open source yeah. that sometimes has, like, so if you use the WordPress service, they charge. So a lot of times that's how you make money with open source. You have a company, say our software is open source, but if you want support, if you want us to help you with it, if you want us to build customizations into it, it's then like we charge. Linux. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Anyway, there's a lot of good open source software, all of which that I've that we'll probably talk about is free. Uh, the most well known one that you may not think of as open source is Firefox, the browser. Yeah. Of course, uh, a lot of people use, and I highly recommend it, especially because it has plugins that you can, if you're a developer of any kind, um, you can do it. And also, you can do toolbars in Firefox on Mac. And Safari, the other Mac browser, does not allow toolbars. So if you hear all this like, oh, there's some cool toolbars to use that your Windows friends have, you can do the, most of them in Firefox. Um, Others, uh, the probably the second most well-known open source program in the Mac world is GIMP, which it probably stands for something like image, uh, graphical. graphical image, whatever. Okay. But GIMP, <laughs> and it is basically a like end-all, be-all Photoshop type program. You know, it's not Photoshop; it's an open source thing, and they, all the stuff's in it. Now, to use GIMP by itself on the Mac, you have to use something called X11, which is something that comes up a lot in Mac yeah. open source stuff. So X11 is something it should be. It's in Leopard. It just comes like installed by default. Yeah. And it's basically a outer shell graphical environment for Linux, which is kind of what Mac's based on. Though yeah. every time I say that, somebody comments that no, actually it's BSD. Yeah, but but <laughs> if you're using Tiger or anything yeah. earlier, you have to install, install it, it, and then it takes like 10 minutes to load the program up. Yeah, um, it's a bit of a pain. What, yeah. But there's some also uh, some other versions of GIMP that get around the X11 thing. So like there's Mac GIMP and yeah. there was the one, another one we saw that. So you can check check out for those. Uh, I think Wings 3D is a, a good mm -hmm. Mac modeling program. And there was a, there space. was another one. What, what was the one we were just talking about? Another 3D modeling program. Blender. Blender. Yes. Yeah. Open source modeling program on the Mac. There's uh, some open source Office stuff out there. Open Office comes to mind. Yeah. Open Office. Well. OpenOffice, there's actually a version that's more applicable with uh, older versions of OS X. It doesn't use X11. It's NeoOffice. NeoOffice. That's also up on is the site. Is that open too. source? Yeah. It's it free. Is. I know yeah. that. It's up on the site, so okay. it must be open source. And, uh, and now there's like FTP program. Now, Qt FTP is open source, and a lot of people use that as a... As well, especially because like the thing with open with uh, FTP programs... Firefox is FTP. To FTP up? Yeah. Really? And oh, down. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I usually I need to use things like SFTP and all that, so um, yeah. I need some a little more full featured. But it's a good one, especially if you're like, oh, I I use FTP like three times a year. Why should I spend forty bucks for shareware? Um, there's and there's a lot of good stuff. So you should check out that site and actually uh, add a couple good pieces of software. It was what uh, open source open Mac source Mac dot org. Open source Mac. And you can also just go to just search for open source Macintosh software in Google, and you're yeah. going to come up with a lot of good stuff. It's open source, oh, yeah. not open sore. No, not open yeah. sore. Okay. <laughs> no, not at all. So, well, there you go. And we got 45 seconds left. 45 seconds. That happens 42, all the time. 40, no, no <laughs> that's, not, that's not good. But uh, I'm trying to think of what other open source programs I use. Well, there's, for media players, there's VLC. Oh, VLC Media Player, that's right. I love that one. It, it, I used it on the, yeah, it, basically just about anything you throw at it, it'll play. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, that's so very high compatibility. Good one to have in your applications folder for when you need it. It's like that sort of thing. Like I need it now. You get it. You put it there, and then eventually you're going to come across some file that you can't open in QuickTime or whatever, and this will this will play yeah. it for you. So I don't know a lot of cool stuff. Uh, leave us some comments. What are your favorite open source Mac programs? Source. Source. Not yes, source. indeed. Everybody, you all have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday. Thank you.